Welcome everyone to the Side Draft Podcast. Today we're a little late with with uploading, but we had two races in one day, so here we are. Three podcasts in one day, so that's that's gonna be fun. That's fun. Uh, but first up is the Xfinity Series, which qualifying got rained out. Uh, Cole Custer would win the pole because they went by owners' points uh, from, last from last season. Uh, Gregson would be the outside pole, and then on the restart. Christopher Bell would just shoot out of a cannon and just take the lead like like it was nothing. Yeah, he's just on a rail, pretty much. So, um, yeah, he looked a lot like Kyle Busch out there. Yeah, he's, I, I guess he learned from uh, the best, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then uh, Gregson, you know, I was wondering how good he would be at Atlanta. Uh, not too great of a start. Really loose race car and lost a ton of spots and just never recovered. And basically, that would be the rest of it because Bell would just dominate and win stage one. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he just took off and left everybody in his dust. And uh, I mean, handling was a big issue at Atlanta. And stage two, Bell would lead off pit road. Uh, Priest had a penalty. No, he didn't. Uh, the guys in the booth thought he did, uh, but uh, apparently not. That was good for him. He, he was running, you know, decent, and uh, it'd been tough for him to come back from that. But that's good. If they say we make a mistake, and say, well, all the pillars look good. So, yeah, Adam Alexander was just trying to send him to the back. Must not be a priest fan. Must not be. <laughs> uh, Cole Custer would have a bad start at the beginning of the stage. He'd lose a few spots. Uh, Briscoe almost got made some contact with uh, the nine of Noah Gregson. Uh, almost bad, but thankfully for him, everything's good, no wreck, and they moved on. Yeah, Chase Briscoe, he's looking really awesome. You know, he's come back from 20 something and throws his way up to what, top 10 by the second stage. And, uh, I thought he'd be a, a probably challenge for the win or something. But. Yeah, it seemed like every time they said, Oh, this guy's really fast, he's faster than Bell right now, then they'll just never do anything ever again. So uh, it was really odd how. How that happened, I believe the same thing happened with Tyler Reddick. As soon as they mentioned him, it's like he was equalized out. And then uh, same thing with Ryan Priest. Yeah, I believe uh, Tyler Reddick, he he can keep maintaining his uh, speed. I mean, his tire fall off is really big here at Atlanta. And it seemed like Tyler Reddick would be the one that can maintain his speed. But as soon as they talked about him, he just kind of just fell off. Yeah. (laughs) Quit talking about me. So, so next time, don't <laughs> talk about anybody. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it seemed like Reddick would, would have some speed for him, but then, you know, just didn't have enough time or, or the tire fall off just was too great for him. But Bell would end up winning stage two. Nothing else to really note there. So really fast stage one and two, which you, you got to think that maybe the, the weather has also contributed to that. Yeah, it's very misty there. and There's also the... First time at Bale swept stages. Yeah, which is really surprising. Yeah. Last year you won like seven races as a rookie. Um, yeah, the new Toyota Super is looking really super now. Really super. Uh, so stage three would begin already, man. This is going really fast. Really fast. Uh, so pit road, Brandon Jones would win the race off pit road. Uh, but uh, speeding. So, you know. You got to hate that, you know, you get the, finally get the lead. You've been battling up there forever. Then you just have to drop to the back. Yeah, I believe Brandon would have uh, took a, a run for his money. He put, could have challenged for the win if it went for that uh, speed pound. Then Cole Custer would have some issues on pit road. He came in second, but out in ninth. Uh, I think he's either the second or third best car out there. So that's really unfortunate, especially in the final stage. Yeah. It's the time you don't want to have any mistakes. You can, you can have a little few mistakes in the first two stages, but once you get that third stage, it's, you know, it's hard to recover from it. And then the restart would be Reddick versus Bell. Cedric would get up to second because he had the inside and Reddick had the outside. Uh, but Bell would eventually get around Cedric for second, and he would pass Bell. Yeah, it always seemed like on the restarts that the high line just wouldn't go. Yeah. yeah, the bottom line was preferred. 
Yeah, it seemed like it was going to be a, a race with Reddick and Bell after that point. Uh, but Bell was just easily shoot right right on by Reddick. And then they went to see some pit stops, which normally strategy is really big at, at Atlanta. Uh, looks like Michael Annette was the first to come in. Uh, Custer and Briscoe would come in second. Uh, Reddick would come down pit road before Bell, and I thought really this would have a major impact on it. Um, yeah, usually you want to stop early. If you stop early, you can gain you know, a few seconds and uh, gain a lot of ground on, on the leader. Bell would have a slow stop. We thought, wow, this will change everything, uh, but not really as you know, Reddick would cycle out as the leader, but Bell would just, just make, make easy work of him. So uh, Justin Allgaier was also up there. He led for like half a second. So. Yeah. Um, I'm the key. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so Bell would just easily take it back. Uh, Gregson stayed out for a while. He would finally pit. He was just waiting for a caution or the rain. Uh, yeah. The, the bless down in Atlanta. So. <laughs> yeah. He was praying for rain. And then Briscoe would have a tire issue. He would scrape the wall just a little bit. And then he would drive through too many pit stalls, which really got a sting. Yeah, sometimes when you have some bad luck, it just continues. And then we saw Reddick, who was reeling in Bell. Looked like uh, Reddick was going to finally get to him and pass him. But then we had a caution for John Hunter Nemechek as he blows a tire. You know, normally you'd say, oh, this is great for the second place guy, but Reddick, he'll have an outside lane. Yeah. And it's just not. I'm not sure. I think uh, Reddick probably would have caught him. I don't know if he would have passed him or not. Uh, he was catching a few tenths a second, then he loses a little bit. And... Uh, in the final stage, I was hoping that he'd catch him, but I don't know if he would or not. Yeah, it would have been a great battle between them. Yeah. I hadn't really seen any sort of challenge for the lead all day besides when Bell doesn't have it. So, yeah. uh, so down pit road, though, Tyler Reddick would have a ton of issues. I believe something with the tire, the air gun. He would lose a few spots. And then Jeffrey Earnhardt would take his spot on the outside lane, but nothing you can really do on the outside so that he would just drop back a few places it was a pretty awesome day for uh earnhardt jeffrey earnhardt uh he's got a good ride now he's uh competitive and it's really good to see another earnhardt out there and doing good and then it would be bell versus earnhardt with three to go and then bell would just easily win cole custer would come second he tried he, he tried everything he could uh, I think Bell took his line and just ruined every chance that Custer had, which uh, is a veteran move by Bell, yeah. and that's why he won seven races last year. Yeah. Uh, it was a good challenge at the end. I thought Custer maybe could have got to him, but just ran out of laps. Yeah, just nothing you can really do. I mean, he could have got to him, but, you know, I don't think he could have cleared him. Might would have been a drag race down the, down the front stretch, but that would have been crazy, though. Yeah. It's like uh, the 2001 Atlanta race in the Cup Series. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is our Xfinity review. Went by really quickly. I think the race went by really quickly as well. Yeah. A lot of domination by Bell, which I'm looking forward to seeing next week when Kyle Busch will be in 18. I want to see if Bell can give a challenge to Kyle Busch. Or, or should we say, will Kyle Busch give a challenge to Bell? Well, maybe so. We'll see. It's going to be a great battle between them two. As we saw at New Hampshire last year, Bell managed to beat Brad Kozlowski. Maybe he's, you know, uh, become so good at the Xfinity car that he might beat Kyle Busch. Yeah, not for not too long. He, he'll probably be in a cup car. And yeah. Very competitive. I, I heard maybe he might start some in the Cup Series this year with Levine Family Racing. We'll, we'll see. Not sure if that's uh, just a rumor or not, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Uh, that's pretty much all we have. We just want to say where Dell Jr. was last week in the thumbnail. I don't think anyone found him, but here he is. So that's where he was. Shout out to, to nobody. <laughs> but we'll see you next time. Well, we got to do the... the uh, oh, yeah, the, the sponsor shout-out. Sponsor shout-out. And this week, uh, we want to shout-out to Discount Tire. Uh, they've been in sport for a while with Brad Kozlowski and Penske. And uh, Austin Sender was driving the paint scheme today. And um, just go to Discount Tire for all your tire needs. And we thank them for being in our sport. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, been with Penske for a really long time. Yeah, that's where we go to our, for all our uh, tire needs and 
They're really awesome. Yeah, you know, never know when that unexpected uh, tire will go down. Mm -hmm. So, discount tire is very reliable about that. They're almost as fast as a pit stop. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I believe that's all we have. And we'll see you next time. Uh, stay tuned for the truck podcast coming out very shortly.